Now what we want to do is just use the Python shell to create new products. So I used the admin before, now we want to use the Python shell. So to do this, I want to make sure that I'm in the root of my Django project, you know, where manage.py is, and I'm going to run Python manage.py shell. So when you do manage.py shell, that means that all of the Django project stuff will work inside of a Python interpreter. So I hit enter. It looks like a normal Python interpreter, but it's not because I can do from products.models import product, right? So I can do these kinds of imports. I can import classes just like we sort of did in the admin, right? I did a relative import in the admin. This is closer to an absolute import um, inside of the shell. So I go ahead and hit enter here and I can do product.objects.all. This is a built-in Django command. We'll get over this sometime in the future, but for now, if I hit enter, I see that there's only one thing in here, right? There's only one item, and that's because I only saved one. In the video, that's all I did. You might've done it otherwise, you might see a lot more there, and that's cool if you have. That means that you're experimenting, that's awesome. Um, but for me, what I wanna see is more. I wanna actually create them right here in the shell. I wanna have the ability to do those commands. So it's simple, we just do product.objects.create, and then we wanna create new ones inside of this command itself, inside of create itself. Again, this is built into Django. This is default by Django standards, right? So in models, we look at the things that are required for this product. We have four fields that are required. So I can pass those four fields in here as title, uh, new product two, right? and description as another one, right? Price being, you know, whatever price. And then finally, summary being sweet, okay? Notice each one, each argument in here is a string itself, right? So I did that on purpose, they're all strings. Um, and that's how I can create a new product. I hit enter, it creates it. I can press up and enter again, it's creating new and new products, right? And if I did that product, dot objects at all again. What I see here is a list, also known as a query set. Again, we'll get into that later. Um, but it shows us all of those new products created. Now, assuming we still have our server running, which I do, you can close it out with control C, but if I just go ahead and make sure that my server is running, I can come back into my admin, right? So you log into your admin, you see this, you go to products. What do you know? I've got all those products in there. So that's another way to actually create things in your database just by using a command instead of you know clicking through and going through the form and doing all that. Pretty, pretty awesome. Um, so we still have a lot more to do, obviously. We wanna see this in another form. Um, but before I, I jump into another form, I wanna see actually how do I realistically create a model that isn't so convoluted, like I shouldn't actually pass a string for price, it should be in the actual decimal, right? And perhaps the title shouldn't be this long text area, maybe it should just be one short field. So there's definitely things that I need to change to this product model to make it better. That's something we'll do in the next one by adding new fields. Stay with me and make sure you subscribe to get everything because I'm going to be doing a lot more Django stuff on jointiffy.com slash YouTube. Thanks for watching.